Hello guys, I am Niranjana AR, third year electronics and communication engineering student of Government Engineering College Idiki and my video presentation is based on ISA bus, industry standard architecture bus. It is a part of embedded system. The contents which I have included in this video is introduction uh, which includes some terms we need to know before we get to know about ISA, ISA bus, its history and features. ISA versions, uh, yeah, that is 8-bit uh, and 16-bit versions, PCI versus ISA, the difference between the two and why ISA was replaced by PCI. So let's move on. As we all know, uh, a bus means a communication system that transfers data between components inside a computer or between the computers. It means it covers all related hardware components like wires, optical fibers, etc. and software components. And a distributed network system means a number of systems on a common bus or a set of buses where each system interfaces to a bus. Embedded systems are distributed and networked using a serial bus, parallel bus or a wireless protocol software and appropriate hardware. Each bus communicates as per a protocol. This bus communication simplifies the number of connections and provides a common way or protocol of each connecting diff or uh, of each connecting different or same type of uh, IO devices, input output devices. And some of the protocols are given below like uh, UART, Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter, I2C, uh, CAN Controller Area Network, Universal Serial Bus USB and these falls in um, serial communication protocols. Uh, in serial communication, the data is sent as one bit at a time in a sequential manner. And then we have Bluetooth and uh, Wi Fi, we know that these are uh, wireless uh, protocols. And then we have ISA, PCI, PCIX, um, which are parallel communication protocols. Uh, in this, multiple bits are sent time simultaneously. Uh, ISA industry standard architecture, as we all know, is a parallel communication standard. And let's see what an ISA is. An industry standard architecture bus ISA allows additional expansion cards to be connected to a computer's motherboard. It accepted cards for a sound display uh, hardware, hard drives and other devices. It is also referred to as PC-80 bus. It is a standard bus architecture for IBM compatibles. Introduced in 1981, the ISA bus was designed to support the Intel 8088 microprocessor for IBM's first generation PC. The 8-bit version was used in IBM PC XT and this interface motherboard buses of Intel 8088 CPU and 16-bit version was an upgrade of the mother upgrade for the motherboard buses of the Intel 80286 CPU used in IBM 80. In the late 1990s, the faster peripheral component interconnect PCI were introduced. Soon afterwards, use of ISA bus began to diminish and most IBM motherboards were designed with PCI slots. Although there are still a few motherboards being made with ISA slots, these are generally referred to as the legacy bus motherboards. And this is a small block diagram uh, showing where the ISA bus is really used. We all know that CPU, RAM and chipset which consist of the motherboard, the core of the motherboard. And then we have uh, BIOS, uh, basic input output system, ROM which uh, initializes the hardware and then we have expansion slots where we can put uh, external cards and uh, here is where the ISA is used to convert the ex uh, to connect uh, with the external devices and here this is a motherboard and these are the two slots for ISA bus this black line these two black lines are uh, ISA buses and we have four PCI uh, buses. And let's see what are the major uh, main features of this um, 
um, I say bus. It has got 24 bit address lines and 16 bit data lines. These data lines convey bits from one device to the other, and address line determines the location of source and destination of the data. It supported 16 bit peripheral system. Obviously, 16 bit, uh, obviously, we are talking about the 16 bit ISA and it supported 16 bit peripheral system. And uh, it could handle uh, interrupt request that is IRQ, a hardware signal sent to the processor that temporarily stops the running program and allows a special program and interrupt handler to run instead. And we could uh, connect five devices with 16 bit IRQ at the same time or six devices that use one 8 bit IRQ each. Also, three additional uh, devices could be connected parallel to five devices with 16 bit IRQ. And uh, 16 bit direct memory access DMA channel. DMA allows hardware subsystems to access the main system memory without asking CPU. And four devices may use one 8 bit DMA channel each, while up to three devices can use one 16 bit DMA channel each. The clock operates at 8 megahertz, and two to eight clock cycles are needed to transfer a data. And these are the different ISA versions. One is 8-bit, which was launched at first, and 16-bit, which is the standard protocol. And uh, one has bus width of 8, and the other has 16. One is compatible with 8-bit ISA, and the other is with 16-bit ISA. One has got 62 pins, and this has got 98 pins. Power supply is uh, similar, has got uh, similar, same power supply. And uh, clock speeds are different, almost as twice. Uh, like one has got 4.77 megahertz, the other has got 8.33 megahertz. And let's see what are the difference between ISA and PCI. Nowadays, uh, ISA is not, not at all used. And uh, it is it was completely replaced by PCI. And let's see the differences between ISA and PCI. One has bus width of 16 bits, obviously ISA, and PCI has got a bus width of 64 bits. ISA has only uh, 8 megahertz bus speed, and PCI has got 133 megahertz. And ISA's uh, MB per second, this means uh, data rate at the output is 16 Mbps, uh, but uh, PCI has got 1 Gbps almost it is too much faster than isa this pci and advantages are uh, isa has got low cost compatibility and widely used not now but at the oldest times and uh, disadvantages include low speed uh, jumpers and dip switches are used becoming obsolete with time and pci has got so much advantages over isa right the it has got very high speed it has got plug and play technology dominant board level bus and it is a dominant board level bus and pci is incompatible with older systems and can cost more thank you